All right, we're back and I've got everything put back together. You can see the little computer here and it's active. Radio's working again, so that's good. So what I've got here is I've got a couple of terminal programs open up to that little computer. It's running a version of Linux and uh, I have it connected to my Wi-Fi network at home. This is one reason I wanted to do this so I can actually connect to it from the garage without having to be in the vehicle since it's really cold outside. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to enable the link to the CAN bus at 125 kilobits, which is what the interior CAN bus actually runs at. And I do that nice and quiet. I'm going to go over to the other window here. There's a command called CAN dump. And if I run that with the right device, you can just see a crap ton of data being generated. And this is with the car just in accessory mode. It's not running or anything like that. That in itself is pretty hard to deal with. You can log that and analyze it later, but there's actually a better way. There's another utility called Can Sniffer, And this one tries to be a little bit more intelligent about what's actually happening on the bus. You see for a minute, it's a lot of data. And then it figures out really pretty rapidly that there's only a few messages repeating in patterns. And if you look here at the 3E6 ID, you notice that it's incrementing. And this is actually a runtime ID. Hours, minutes, seconds. And that'll just keep going and roll over as you would expect. I have no idea what 293 is, um, probably power or something like that. It alternates a little bit. But now that you've got just a little bit of data, you can see a few things. I think 293 is the radio, or 291 rather. There's a bunch of crap from somewhere. Who knows what that is yet. But if we actually start doing stuff, like I'm going to turn on, I'm going to flash the brights, and I'm going to hold it, and you can see that 208 came on. And you see hex code 2022, and it still it went away because it's basically still on. But I released the high beam. You see now instead of 2022, we've got 0022. So that's the signal that the high beams are off. And again, if we turn it on, you see 2022 off changes that 0022. So you can start looking at a lot of different things now. Um, and figure out exactly what data is going on. And the radio is some of the most fun. So if we switch over to uh, satellite radio and change the channel, you'll actually see the channel name. And that's what gets sent over to the EVIC. Change it again. Air Nation, there we go. And there it is on the EVIC. So, what if we actually sent our own message? Let's see what happens there.